Hello, welcome back to episode 4. Alright. So what are we gonna do today? So I think this is the one I couldn't enter. Hmm. Maybe I can do this one. Seems to be in the waterfall, I think. And then after this, I think we'll go to the, to the main mission right away. Might be a cave there. Come on. Where the hell is it? At the top? Better be something good. But there is a cave here. No, don't tell me that it's like underneath. It's it's increasing now the distance. What? Stretch your wings. I stand the map. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, the race in there. Behind the waterfall, I think. Here. Hey, yeah. Why can't we see anything? What? below of course it is
fuck is it? I saw it. Climb. Oh my god. Fucking climb. Here. Breakable hole. No. Looks like it. Is this? Let's see you, old friend. I don't know. I, I, I can't find this shit. Is it under water? again there oh my god this better be good This has to be good. Collect book of knowledge. New ability. Rage of life. Open abilities. Uh, that sounds good. Abilities alone through books of knowledge. They are powerful fighting moves that can be used during battle at the cost of adrenaline. 
Some abilities focus on melee, while others provide range abilities. Up to 8 abilities can be assigned at once. Alright. Books are often heavily guarded in monasteries or military camps. Rage of Helheim. Enter a field of rage and slam your enemy to the ground, leaving them helpless in the face of a barrage of hits. Alternate quickly between L1 and R1 types to avoid losing balance. Ah, sweet. Nice. So these are super important. This was definitely devoted. You gotta collect all of these. That was worth it. Like, th this render quest is like impossible. <laughs> Weed. Rugia Filke Horde Map. Entrance of Silver Glory, west of Alexstad, the Horde will look on you from Sorry Hutton Rock's Eye. Engage its case and reap its reward. West of Alexstad. Mm -hmm. All right, that was good. That was so good. Mm. And we have another book here. Fast travel. Damn it. Hmm. I think we'll do that the main main chapter here. Let's go first travel here and then take it the, the boat. And I got to remember to, to pick up the treasure. West of uh, Ulrich Stall. Make a stop here, maybe. 
Yeah, I think so. This is gonna be... I, I like the mystery ones. I like the most fun. Lush and fertile shores. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? That is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son. Nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching. Or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour? Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London. First built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Hmm. I don't think so. Is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall. 
Our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? I'm sure he is somewhere. Do not worry, my king! I am coming! name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue. Because you cut it out. You are his son? Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. <laughs> only what he wants to hear. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He is praising you. He wants to thank... He Sing. He wants to thank He Sing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? The Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news. Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You will know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday... The fog will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There's courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The Picts have been fine subjects. King Alfred is pleased. The peace holds. Hmm. For now. Better of 100 XP. And we got some ore and an opal.
is loaded. Yeah. Save it for later. Too cold. My blood freezes. Hate me, be my eyes. Ooh. Shiny. What the hell is that? yourself Eivor come stand here and look out over the fjords hold my hand there you go I've never been so high <laughs> your father brought me here long ago when we were just 19 winters together we stacked stones into cairns these Oops. yes Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. An acquired mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you. Uh... I'm hit. Mysteries. One skill point. Well, somebody seems to live here. <laughs> Snake bite scheme sale. Hmm. Hey, it's 
up here. Oh, the fuel gets so yes, the power 280. What? What do you see? Why do you need 280 power here? There's like no enemies here. What do we have here? Ears. Yeah, freaking ears here.
has to be the one. Come on. No. No antlers. There. I need two more. Be my eyes, Zunin. Come on. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Honest about this lap, my friend. Stace. Mushroom. Yeah, right, yeah, right. He used to kill me. Holy fuck. All right. Wow. Wow, wow. Is that the the thing you have to be like power 280 to do, maybe. Probably. Holy hell. Show me what lies ahead. It's so freaking hard to find antlers
fast travel here. And then we have another travel point to get to. And it's so important to unlock this, like you save so much time. Sail out! Couple an empty tower, this one. Are we 
Where's it? Opal Cripple words from Ragnarvald A thundering is called It's even the only This kind The only great experience For a river Did they devote to the world Like our own All the realms With the man Of the gods Ah huh. Mystery, mystery. Hmm. I, I think it's faster to fast travel to, to the ship and then just go with the ship here. Shiny we can steal here. Mm. 
there's a key somewhere. There. Or to mark sighted enemies. Please let the fly a deadly volley of arrows. You can swim. Your clan is a foul stench. But we are strong, Ernie. Yeah. My love for you, Rise. Does everyone in Alrekstar there play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife. Ah, old age? No. He's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. Now, after a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes. Yes. Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream as you do, like it is really happening. Uh... <laughs> Amusing, 
Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! Uh, how do I do that? I don't know, maybe I need a special ability. And then it just fucking disappears. Where is it? It's not showing. Yes, strong with stink. Step closer, seal face, and say that again. I said. I need your eyes, my friend. Where the fuck is it? Your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. I'll take an come your... Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. No, 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 no. Is it the silver or the courage you're lacking? I will feed you. Your himself wrapped your tongue back out. Come on, I need a challenger. Finally. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. 
Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, their allegiance hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Yeah. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your... Good for the trick to work. Who was there? In the camp ahead. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. Yeah. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd.
So what is this gonna be? long speeches only when you're not giving them many of you knew my father Halfdan the black a great man who achieved great things they buried Halfdan's leg near our temple the crops have never grown tall <laughs> they buried his arse near ours and we get nothing but a muddy river I dream of something greater a vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen united under one king one rule too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Juvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava wolf kissed. You are Kjotve Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Uh... Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. Good. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. 
and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Uh. I dream of a glorious death. But not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross the threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods, and wake in a kingdom made new. Alright. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Hmm. Where is he? to have words come closer what what's up with you are you one of Harold's men I am the king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules nothing more let me ask are you one of the conquered did Harold take your lands as well no my family has lived under his banner since the days of his father Half and the black. Well, welcome to Fornberg, warrior. Mm. So basically, they have taken over our village. Those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? <laughs> would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you moon eyed magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to raise by yourself. So, what the fuck is up now? Like. It doesn't show up. Go. Easy. Come, a little dice never caused any harm. What the f 
fuck. First, they will demand taxes. And soon after, they will be living in our... It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in. Keep your voice down. It will alert Harald's men. What's happening? Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wasp! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Hmm. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. The act of leaving so beloved a home. There is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Sure. I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! 
eight flies and swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. All right. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established hey, yeah. a near the coast. We set sail for them. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny to England! To England! Por Valhalla!
lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. I'd love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you get my tea? Some quality stuff here. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't... ...you know... ...mess with you. Sean... ...what happened last year... ...I... ...I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still... ...if you want to work with us... ...and get to the bottom of... ...why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years... ...then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Sean has been busy.
You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right. Back to the Viking world. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. England, 873. There she is, England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? 
Not yet. But well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. I must be careful now. Do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, or they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god! A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there! Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding, once we have settled. Soldiers. Come to stop the boats! Pull them over there! Way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. Mm -hmm. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But well, there must be a way to release it, somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Calm yourself, lucky son. All right. So we have to level up points here. Next time. Poison. Capote twenty. I should be cautious around here. Yeah.
And this is on, on Master Assassin. You can still do this. Show me what lies ahead. Good law. Why the force? Oh my god. Now what? Crawled into the brush, have you? Come on, dum dum. <laughs> Survey the area, Sunan. Anything left? I think everyone's dead. Shane Bocade. it oh Easy peasy. Sigurd. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dan. They're all dead already. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. And ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. 
For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! You have what you wish for, Dad. You had your chance to turn away, and it passed by. I'll stay in your Oh, 
Ça leur donne. Right, I'll check the longhouse. Yeah, there's a whole army. Remains of the longhouse. Those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli, I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halstan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh, honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home.
Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm, I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. What else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans, old letters, a few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. damage Ooh. Speak to Gunnar. Not a bad place, Eivor. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. Hmm.
förum að brjóta eitthvað. Monster raids. Raiding heavily guarded locations is the best way to find a wealth chest containing supplies and raw materials. What are needed to construct buildings at the settlements? The raid is done when all nearby wealth chests have been looted. Curious and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Don. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah, by nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
a gunner. But if there's more, we should claim it. Wrong, this one. Game here. Is it just too strong? Come on. Certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. So, Eivor, what's your count? My count? Dag, I've no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Nah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, Doc. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. Way. Yeah, it is fast travel. Don't 
Thank goodness for fast travel. Back so soon. And with good news, I hope. I think we have all we need. Yeah? You don't know. supplies and 40 raw materials. Forty, I mean. Nice. Ah, this is wonderful labor. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. We're in the settlement. Mm -hmm. Eivor, what brings you to my humble? Can you remind me what you do here? If you need weapons and armor in hand yeah, yeah. or adorned, that's what I'm here for. May I see your stores? Change appearance. Pretty good. So I have a tree. I can't upgrade eggs. Punish bow. Raven cloak. All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. Thank you for trusting these hands with your gear. Cloak. Keen eye for quality. Ready for battle. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be well, my friend. What is it you do here again? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? Yeah. I'm off. Be well, friend. Until next we meet. What do you see? Barracks. Trading post. He didn't want the bureau.
Better let me go or you won't like what happens. Alright, so here is where we call it for the day. Like and subscribe and comment if you will. Bye bye for now.